Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video might look a little bit different than normal. Today I'm taking you guys on a shopping trip with me that I recently took. I am sharing some of the favorite things that I found from my favorite stores for home decor. So let's get started. Okay, we are here at Crate and Barrel and we're going to check out what they have. We are looking for like a an end table or like a floor lamp or anything else that they have. Let's check it out. So the first stop was Crate and Barrel and this is a Crate and Barrel outlet um, slash warehouse. So they take all of their furniture that might have some little blemishes or damage and they bring it to this warehouse. This is one of my favorite places to go for furniture or little furniture pieces because you can get such great quality furniture for literally a fraction of the price. This white dresser was just gorgeous and this green bookshelf was the prettiest like olive green. It's perfect for like a kid's room. It's a little bookshelf slash toy shelf. It was so cute. Now I originally came here looking for like an end table or an accent table and these were in like the nightstand section and with the outlet or warehouse store you do have to be ready to buy everything is final sale and you want to snag it as soon as you see it and know that you want it just because somebody else will or you never know you know how long it'll be there for. Isn't this one so so pretty I just loved this so much. Now this piece I almost took home with me. I love all the texture. It's like a linen type of, I don't even know if it's material, what is wrapped around it, but it was gorgeous. And I thought, oh, I can replace this little knob, but I already have a lot of light in my living room and I feel like I need something a little bit darker to contrast with all of my furniture. And this table with the cane base and the marble top was to die for. So, so pretty. If you like that bohemian slash modern style, it did have a little chip in the very top, but for 500 bucks, guys, come on. So this guy has a little bit of a story behind it. So I have had my eye on this on their website. This is the Ventana display cabinet. It's about $1,700 on their website and it was $8.49 in the warehouse. However, I'm so glad I got to see it in person because it is a beast. It would not fit in my living room, but it is gorgeous nonetheless. So this little guy caught my attention. This is the Echelon side table and I thought it was really cute. It's a very pretty color. It's kind of a mix between like a black and a bronze. It does have a few little scuffs on the top, but it was a great price and it's pretty much exactly what I'm looking for for my living room, which was something with a little bit of contrast to all of my white furniture that will look good like holding a little lamp or something. And moving on to home goods, you guys, this store was bare bones. It was super picked over. There was hardly anything. I think they're getting ready for fall, hopefully. I always like to check out the coffee table books and see if there is anything in this case. There really wasn't anything at all, but I did find these little boxes in various sizes and these remind me so much of the bone inlay boxes from Restoration Hardware and there was a set of three. Actually, there might've been more all over the store, but these are a good dupe for RH if you're looking. I thought this guy was really cute. It would be pretty on like a stack of books on a coffee table or a bookshelf. I love the gold accent right in the middle. And they did have a lot of really pretty like coastal type stuff if you're into the coastal vibe. I see a lot of things sometimes that I think are cute but I don't really like the color. So don't ever be afraid of a can of spray paint too guys because you can really paint anything um, that you don't like the color of. So always keep that in mind. They had a lot of these baskets. These were super pretty. I like these more natural style ones for like a coffee table or a little shelf would be really, really pretty. So these little decorative beads are always really hard to find in my opinion. However, I didn't like the color. It just was not matching anything. So I had to put those back. And moving on to the pillow section, this one was super cool. It had like a ton of texture. I am doing the karate chop test on it to see how the fill is. I've been looking for like a little bit more browns or neutral style 
pillow with a lot of texture, but it's just really hard to find a good quality pillow with the right fill, if you know what I mean. This one was really pretty for that tribal boho style. The fill was really nice and it had really, really nice texture and good quality. I liked these ones with the little detailing on the outside. However, they just weren't like big enough or thick enough. They were just kind of flat. And this pillow, you guys, was gorgeous. Had it not had that bright green thing on it, I would have taken it home. So, so pretty. These were really nice quality. Pretty for like a nautical or coastal type home. It had a good fill, super pretty. Okay, and this little end table or accent table, you guys, I died. The top was like a really thick like marble or a stone type. However, it had that huge gash in it, but it was so, so pretty. These were also super pretty. They are that alabaster stone, 100 bucks, but for a statement lamp, that is to die for, you guys. I always like to check out the blankets and see if there's anything that catches my attention. I love these cotton blankets. They just are the perfect like little throw, but I like more of the solids, so I passed on that. Okay, and can we take a second and talk about the blanket ladders. So are these still in? Are these still a thing? Because I see them, I love them. I think they're so cute and so pretty. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are these kind of done or out? I don't know, what do you think? And no trip is complete without stopping in the candle section. So I noticed that I, a lot of times, will pass right by the candles in the boxes. Don't sit on those because sometimes they are really pretty. Sometimes they have really good smells and they're very luxurious. So don't pass up the boxes. Always see what they got. So I am always a sucker for a candle that looks good rather than it smells good. This little lemon verbena I do have, but I don't like the top on that one. And these Tommy Hilfiger cane side dining chairs, so, so cute. They had a set of four. If you're looking for dining chairs, check out Home Goods. These are adorable. Okay, so something about this frame caught my eye. It is like a really thick, solid wood, and it was very like rustic, very burned, and just kind of had it, but I had to get it. It was so, so cute. So these tobacco trays, I always um, love to see them in different shapes and sizes. This one is huge. It's perfect for like a square type coffee table. I already have several of them, so I don't need any more, but these boxes are cute too. And this vase was really pretty. I love the color, or you could add some fun texture to it and do a fun DIY. Either way, it's a very pretty vase. This floor lamp caught my attention just because it was really thick and kind of sturdy. It looks like a very good quality lamp. Um, things like this are very hard to come by, so you gotta snag them. So these cane shelves, I have seen several of these before. This one almost literally fell over on me, <laughs> but uh, they're a little wobbly. Cute if you like that bohemian style, but to me they don't really seem like that great of quality. And on to the rug section. This is a Ralph Lauren. They are one of my favorites for rugs. Ralph Lauren, Safavier, and Laloy. Those are my top three. Always good quality, always gorgeous rugs. And this lamp really caught my attention. I just really liked the design of the base. I thought it was really cute. The top was kind of like a bobblehead, so I had to pass on it, but it was really cute. And moving on to Target, another favorite place to find home decor at a reasonable price. This is the Esther's Wood Armchair by Project 62. Super, super pretty, very well made in my opinion. And I believe they're about $2.99. This is so adorable, you guys. And here we are at the candle section again. I really loved this candle in a, I believe it's called a cloche. Super cute, very simple. White candles are always my favorite. These are always really cute on a coffee table or even an outdoor coffee table. Really, really cute. 
Personally, I love the simple white candles. This was in a cedar scent. Very, very cute, very simple. You can really put these anywhere, a bathroom, kitchen, anywhere. So I don't know if it's just me or if I'm late to the whole fall party, this burnt orange pillow is a perfect way to bring fall into your home with a little bit of color. Super pretty, but there was only one, so what are you gonna do? So this lamp, you guys, is one of the Studio McGee products. Super nice, really pretty, very nice quality. However, it was $79, so I'm getting some major inspo on lamps, so I think I'm gonna have to do a DIY soon. And we can't leave Target without checking out the Hearth and Hand by Magnolia section. They have some really cute accent pieces for your home as well as linens. These baskets are always super cute. They have like a little leather handle on them, perfect for like shelving or bathroom. I have to say their sheet sets and duvet covers are really good quality. My sons have their sheet sets on their bunk beds and they are very, very nice, breathable. They're usually 100% cotton. Very, very nice quality in my opinion. Now these throws are really cute. This is that burnt orange color. Again, really cute to bring color into your home for fall. However, they were a little bit thin um, in my opinion, even for a throw. I kind of like more of a chunky knit throw. Um, they also had it in this really pretty green color, but just a little bit too thin for me. This one had a little bit more uh, thickness to it. It was a nice chunky knit. However, I have been eyeing one on Amazon lately, so I'm hoping to get that and then I'll make sure that I show you guys. This is so cute. It would be perfect for a wedding gift or hostess gift. And a lot of this dinnerware and servingware was all out of stock. It was kind of picked over, but you can find most of it online as well. And these candles are from the new fall line. Very cute, a little pricey for such a small candle, but they're still cute and the scent is always really nice. This cardamom and vetiver scent is really pretty. It smells really nice, but I liked these neutral candles as well. This pack of candles didn't have a scent, but I thought they were cute in the little concrete um, votives. Very cute for like outside even. But all of these were by far my favorite. I liked these little pot type ones and these ceramic ones were also very pretty with like the stamped lettering in them. Very, very pretty. And I had to scoop this one up. So I always like to check out all of the little floral pieces. I have a really pretty DIY planned for September. Make sure you're subscribed to check that out, but I found the perfect fall foliage for that. Okay, my cart is starting to look like serious fall vibes here. It is 109 outside today, but I'm ready for fall. And with that, that is going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you next time, guys.